Friends, we are so happy to welcome you to our channel and right now I will show you how to edit photos on the CapCut app. So let's go to the CapCut option. Let's tap on the camera feature, album and photos option to choose the needful picture to edit, for example this one, so let's import it. We have our needful picture, but don't forget also to disable this default ending because it's just the CapCut logo, so let's delete it. Right now we have our photo, how to manage it and adjust it, we just need to scroll a little bit the period menu at the bottom of the screen and go to the filters section. Let's start with the adjust option and we here have a lot of different options also like brightness, contrast, saturation, temperature, etc. Like on the default usual editor. How to manage each of these features, we just need to pick on one option you are interested in and drag the selector to the left to decrease or right side to increase. Guys, don't forget that you can definitely control each of these features and if you want to save these changes, let's tap on the check mark here at the bottom of the screen. But if you want to reset this option, just tap on this option inscription at the left and confirm your choice. But don't forget that this reset option will also remove all of the changes from the other uh, sections, so you just need to find uh, probably the center, as you can check here, we have the point. So let's move our selector to this place again and stop it on the zero to disable, uh, on the zero, <laughs> I need to repeat it, to disable changes only on the selected, only on the one option. Do not receive a reset and remove uh, all your changes. But before I will save my changes and addition. I want also to, to show you sorry, the filter section because here you will find something for you, I'm sure, because here we have a lot of different very popular filters and this filter will help you to make your photos more interesting, more fashion uh, for your, for example, Instagram or TikTok or uh, Pinterest. So if you want to save, for example, this filter, you can also manage it, uh, its level by increasing or decreasing it. So I will set this filter on this option, on this level. If you want to reset this filter, don't forget that you can use this crossed circle. But if you want to save ch changes, as I said before, just need to the check mark at the bottom of the screen. Before it, I just want to show you how to save this filter to make it very quick to activate. How to do it? You just need to hold on this filter and as you can check we have uh, this uh, saved option, saved mark at the top. And this is our favorite um, filter. You can find all of your favorite filter just after scrolling this top line and tapping on this saved option again and here we have all the filters we usually use so it's very cool because we can just very simple in a simple way activate uh, our usual uh, useful uh, filters it's definitely very convenient and you can manage your saved list very very easy way just tap on this filter again and it's removed from the saved list to check uh, to after tapping on the check mark here um, our filter is activated, but don't forget that you can also manage the duration of this filter. If you want to save this uh, recording at the video, you just need to drag this white line to the right side to make this filter appearance shorter, okay? For example, I will stop it here to make this point at the start point and make this point as, as the ending of the video. So let's check the result after tapping on the play button. Well done, guys! It's very, very cool to save this video as the video, as the recording. Let's pick on the save option at the, at the top of the screen. But what to do if you want to only save it as the photo? What to do? 
Let's go to the full page screen after clicking on this icon at the corner of the screen, ok? And we unfortunately need to make a screenshot. It's only one option to smoothly save the needful addition uh, to save the photo we want. So let's check the result after going to the gallery. So this is our managed and uh, corrected video, corrected photo, sorry, and this is our video. So guys, it's only unfortunate, unfortunately one option to save photos from the CapCut, but we can do it, we can make a screenshot, it's cool. So guys, if this tutorial was useful and was interesting, don't forget to like it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find even more cool tutorials and tricks about the CapCut app and other programs to create a very cool content with the different filters with different effects. I hope you will do it. So, goodbye guys, have a nice day!